Hello, I'm John Titus for evalkits.com. In this video review segment, we'll take a look at this brushless DC motor control kit. It's an evaluation kit from Renesas. And this kit is particularly useful for engineers and developers who want to use a brushless DC motor under microcontroller control in a piece of equipment of some sort. The, the kit allows you to experience both the use of Hall effect sensors in a motor as well as measure back EMF and use that to control commutation of the electric coils in the motor. So what do we actually get in this kit? It comes with a standalone nice off-the-shelf brushless DC motor. We have uh, Renaissance's R8C microcontroller development board that's made specifically for motion control. This has the Hall effect sensor input and the motor drive output, a power input, an LCD display, a potentiometer that we use to control motor speed, as well as a couple of push buttons that we can use to start the motor in both the clockwise and the counterclockwise direction, as well as stop it. And it's got an RS-232 port that connects with my host lab PC. The kit also includes this nice debug pod called an E8 a device and that will plug into this junction and communicate through a USB port to the lab PC for downloading of code and debugging. The kit also comes with a collection of cables, a USB cable, motor connection cables, power cables, and it comes with a universal 24 volt power supply. Just make sure this is set properly for 24 volts when you start. The kit also includes a, a CD-ROM that has a tremendous amount of information on it. In this particular case, I printed out the user's guide manual that's on the CD that you can use in addition to the quick start guide to go through the two types of applications, the Hall effect sensor as well as the back EMF measurement to control the motor. The CD also lets you print out application notes. Here we've got using uh, brushless DC motor, three-phase BLDC motor control. We've got uh, trapezoidal control. You can get software listings for the C programs that are used, both in the, uh, the Hall effect and the back EMF measurement, uh, schematic diagrams, bills of material, lots of information here. And there's a great manual navigator that is available within the tool set that the Renaissance CD drops onto a PC that allows you to go through and see what's there, get the sample code out, get the manuals, and print them right out. You don't even have to go out to the Renaissance website. So what I'd like to do is take this kit, put it together, and come back in just a second and show you a couple of demonstrations. Now I have the basic Renesis board set up, and it's connected with the motor. It's connected to the 8EA debug pod and it's connected to the serial port on my host PC. Although you can't see the display, it shows the set RPMs for the motor and it then measures the RPMs and puts that display information up so you can see it. There are three push buttons here. There's a stop button, there's a button for a counterclockwise move, we can stop the motor and we can start it again in a clockwise move. There are some LEDs here, four of them, that will flash in direct proportion to the speed of the motor. You can see the LEDs flashing faster and the motor turning faster. I'm going to turn it down to about 500 RPM, which is about the minimum speed that you want to run this at. This is the demonstration that's using the back EMF measurement from the coils rather than the Hall effect sensor on the motor. And I'll give you a further demonstration of what the screen looks like because you can get quite a bit of diagnostic information for the back EMF measurement. Before we leave this demonstration, I want you to take a look at the piece of paper that I've attached out here on the motor shaft. When I start the motor in the back EMF type operation, you'll notice there's a little kick to the motor. It'll go one way or the other way before it starts its actual rotation. And that's an important thing to keep an eye out for, and I'll explain in just a second. So I'm going to start the motor and watch. See the motor just kick there? I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to start it in the opposite direction. We'll see if it there was a kick again. I'll do it one more time. 
little kick, motor starts. And the last time, a little kick and the motor starts. Now why does that happen? Well with back EMF you have to have actually some EMF to sense and you've got to figure out where the motor is. So what you do initially is rotate that motor through the coils so that it's in a known position. From there you can start it and you can go clockwise or counterclockwise. So you need that initial kick in your firmware to put the motor in a known position so that you can start it going counterclockwise or clockwise at the RPMs that you select. So that's something to keep in mind when you're using the back EMF method. You're going to get that slight motion in the motor. This display is provided by the LEM, an application program that comes with the brushless DC kit from Renesis. You can see the upper red bar is displaying the speed in revolutions per minute. The revolutions per minute was set at 960 RPM through the slider over here on the left side of the screen. We're also displaying the amps, the current pulled by the motor, the voltage that's supplied to the motor, and a temperature not of the motor but of that black block on the board that is actually driving the coils within the motor. The nice thing about this display is that we can switch to an oscilloscope mode and here we'll be looking at the speed and the motor current and we'll start that and we can see some characteristics flash by of the motor and you can stop that and you can collect the hundred points or more points. Now it's a nice tool. There are other system settings and some other documentation that you can grab if you want to and you can save this data for future analysis. One of the interesting things about this software is that it does have a series of faults that it will register down here and I'm going to cause an overcurrent condition down here which will turn that block red when I go over and grab the motor shaft and stop it. There the overcurrent turned on so we realized we had an overcurrent condition. Nice piece of software and it really helps make this kit more useful than just seeing the motor turn in clockwise and counterclockwise fashion. And of course we didn't demonstrate the Hall effect sensor but that's just about as straightforward as the back EMF measurement. Let's just wrap up quickly on this kit from Renesis. I liked it very much. I found it easy to work with. There are a couple of things that I would like to see in a revision of this kit. Maybe it uh, knocks down the rating from 5 to 4.5 stars. One, there's no flow chart that really explains this is what we do in a back EMF measurement and this is what we do in a Hall effect measurement. That we measure this, we sense this, here's how we use that, here's how we use the A to D converters. So almost pseudocode or a flow chart that shows how you go through the control loop to manage the motor at a specific speed. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more information that also documents the code so that I know what, for example, the ADC H header file means. What are some of the parameters? I don't think that somebody who's looking at an evaluation or professional development kit like this should have to go through each of those header files to find the prototypes and other information about how they work. There are a lot of those that get pulled into the sample code that you work with on the computer and that you download here. It would be nice to know what they do and just get kind of a big picture view of what's going on with this brushless DC motor control, what the algorithms are and how they work. And and one minor little nit to pick is it took some time to get used to using the debug tools. Although I'm familiar with the HEW, that is the High Performance Embedded Workshop tools from Renesis, a, a simple LED on the board that indicates when the download of code and when the flash memory is ready would be very helpful because sometimes you sit and you wait and you wait for something to happen and then you realize, oh, okay, the code is in there. Overall, a nice kit. If you're interested in how to drive and control brushless DC motors, definitely worth a look. It's a nice kit to work with. It's easy to work with. The documentation is excellent and it's easy to find.